Hello, my dear friends, Dr. Dhawan here, UEMT faculty, and uh, we have the proud privilege to have Dr. Archit with us, uh, INSDT, All India Rank 75, November 2024 examination. And uh, Archit, congratulations from each one of us over here. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Archit is from uh, basically from Himachal Pradesh, settled in Chandigarh, Oblique Mohali, Tri City, and uh, did his MBBS from Ames, Jodhpur. And now pretty much ready for medicine in one of the premier institutes, maybe PJ Chandigarh, at this wonderful rank. Achit, uh, uh, I would like to you know take your guidance for the upcoming batch students because Achit is a sportsman. He was telling me he broke his ACL while playing football, uh, persisted with it, and uh, it's his fifth INICD attempt. And uh, I was talking to him that it is tough to maintain the rhythm of preparation because the doubt comes he said sir i never had any doubt i had this one conviction that i have to go further ahead and that's i think that trait comes from sports background and Archit, that's i'm really 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 happy because uh some people are talking to me since morning about the third time attempt in INICT, city and they have a huge doubt that shall we take uh one more chance or shall we take whatever seat is coming our way so I think your story would be very much encouraging for them. And uh, Achit, uh, I, I want to ask a couple of questions for the juniors or the, your batchmates who are preparing for the next exam now. Uh, Achit, if I may ask you that, uh, what is your uh, take on this? That, you know, like, shall we go for the main videos on, or only the QRP videos? Because people say we can't handle bulk. You know, what is your take on that? Can we yes, be sir. selective or... Yeah. Sure. I think I think the exam is so selective. It's just 200 questions. Nothing. I mean, even if we do all that bulk, it is not going to, you know, get stored in our mind. And you know, we are going to be 100% at that time. Like we need to filter out things. That is very important. With time, we need to filter out things, and uh, we need to pick up those things which are being asked in the exam. That is okay. important. So, with time, uh, as we know, as we as we get into things. First of all, of course, we need the basic. We need the basic knowledge. We need we need to uh, at least view the video one time to get that basic thing. And then we need to think, ki, examine what is being asked. And then accordingly, we need to go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, uh, you put it up very rightly that one time you please see all the, you know, like uh, videos for the NEPJ NSD preparation. And as you are advancing and doing multiple choice question, you are getting the idea. What are the favorite islands out of those notes which are being asked more common uh, number of times? And you can you can then you can pick up your revision on the you know more focus on that particular data. And I would totally you know align my thought with your thought that okay, that's one time you must watch complete videos and then you yes. can start becoming, but it has to be pyramidal actually. The base has to be stronger. The, base the has concepts to be stronger. really, yes, absolutely. As as uh, the base gets strong, you get you just get adding on things then after that. Because knowledge is so vast, it's so vast. Like you can you can add so many things, but what is being asked in the paper that should be added. Like ye cheese and and that should be revised again and again. Every time it should yeah. be revised again and again. Achit, what worked this time? If I may ask you, like fifth time you persisting, you know, second time, third time, fourth time. How would you you know like uh, like define your journey for the listeners? Sir, my first attempt that time when I had my ACL tear during my internship. That time I didn't study at all. I couldn't actually. So that time my rank was around 9,000 in INI set. Uh, but that was like, okay, I have scored that rank. I just have to improve from there. Sir, uh, with time, like other attempts, like second, third, fourth attempt, my rank was in the mid ranker range, like 1,000, 900, 800. But I was not satisfied, sir. Never, I was not. Uh, I was like, I have to beat this exam. So, sir, I just kept yeah. on doing, I just kept on reading. I never felt, yeah. uh, uh, you know, th there is this saturation thing. No, I never felt that. Never. I just kept on reading things and uh, revising things again and again, giving questions, doing GTs. Yes. Wonderful. I think yes. uh, if yes. I may ask you, like, uh, how much uh, weightage would you give to a uh, grand test uh, in the preparation of any exam, like INSD, need PG, both? Like, grand test, how relevant they are? Sir, I would say, uh, 
it it tells you about your weak points the grand test the main thing about grand test is it's just not just giving the grand test and then not reviewing it so that will not make any sense i mean you give a grand test review it properly analyze your weak points ki which subjects you are wrong and which questions you are getting wrong again and again and try to uh, uh, you know that concept try to uh, Im- Im- imbibe that in your mind ki if if yeah. that kind of concept is asked in the exam i will be able to answer that so grand test help there helps there basically Yes. I think Ajit yes. has very rightly pointed out that you know people have been taking grand test as only evaluating tool of the preparation, but uh, my take always has been a student as a faculty also today is it's just not an evaluating tool. It is actually you know assistive tool also. It assists yes. you in your preparation because it actually point blank tells you your onco surgery is not good. You're missing the marks in the onco surgery, or for example, you know your rheumatology is not up to the mark. Yeah, you you get to know. or some subject all together performing like every time microbiology is performing low 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 it means please open up the is, you know main content and see them. yeah yes sir yeah and secondly i think the, the the silly mistakes in the pattern which you know like we have it sometimes you know we read something like as another thing and we keep answering like that and if that get highlighted i think that actually makes your brain aware and you reduce the number of mistakes in the real exam actually that's what like yes, i would really like yes, to add on that yeah Yes. Sir. Achit, yes. Uh, if we uh, like, we love to innovate. At uh, if you ask me, I'm part of uh, Doctorals for last now two and a half years. So what is the DNA of Doctorals is like, we 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 want to innovate. We want to bring new things. And uh, this time we did a series, uh, rank deciding series on the YouTube, which is open for everyone. In fact, uh, yes, did you happen to watch that uh, rank deciding series over there, RDX series? Sir, I didn't watch all the videos. but the ones uh, uh, where i fe- felt like i need to watch this video at least i need to know the questions they are you know the the concepts they are telling ki these concepts can be asked in the exam those i watched okay and yes. do you think they they were in sync with the real exam did they help you were they helpful to point out the what are the important parts or notes and was it in sync with the preparation which you were doing and it added marks to your preparation eventually in those subjects sir i would say ki uh, like it's it's basically it's basically journey it's not ki that single video helped me but yes uh, with just say that knowledge was there basic knowledge and i just kept on adding it around me and yes it has at a point of time it has like because those questions gets asked in the exam you just have 45 seconds to answer that is the main deal of it like even if you know an answer uh, just giving 45 seconds to answer it is tough that time to to exactly about options so to uh, first of all we need to understand the art of ruling out and uh, trying to give that answer within 45 seconds that is important keeping my ma- mind calm all these factors play a role in the exam actually i i absolutely agree to that you know like uh, you know sometimes you know the topic but you are not able to you know crack the right answer within the given yes, time actually that happens that problem. happens so commonly sir like yeah, yeah. You, you know that you have read that topic but still something is being asked and you don't know the answer like you are able you're not able to uh, memorize it you're not able to recall it that happens so, so the that brings uh, to uh, you know like this conclu- conclusion in our mind also that you know like solving mcq is a different art altogether you know like you have to practice that simultaneously people sometimes the people uh, people say that we are doing theory revision uh, but we ignore mcqs but i i always feel that you know student should be aware of this thing eventually you have to solve the multiple choice questions so solving mcq is an art like exclusion taking a decision within 45 seconds you have to take the call over there and that actually comes with the practice okay, great yes and uh, i think this time the paper was a bit atypical in a way that not typical inct stuff is actually not. yes sir yeah, yeah. not so, yeah, yeah it was more of a you can say neat pg or a hybrid kind of feeling over there and uh, uh, again i would say that you know like regarding clinical subject what was your feeling this time uh, was the paper like dominantly clinical conceptual or it was more tilted towards factual side after the exam what was I, your feel so the last year ke exam tha in he said that was more towards conceptual side like next step questions but these this year exams are not that much uh, uh, towards conceptual like next uh, next step questions were very less mainly okay. for more of uh, you know uh, the short stem questions the direct questions there were more yeah 
image based question sir that, that is so tough to you know if if you have not seen the images that is so tough like within 45 second you have to just see that image and answer ki kya hai wo cheez so and 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 yeah. the main main problem for I, main problem in i said is it's not the question that challenges you it's the options the option challenge is like four options two one option to rule out ho jata hai teen options mein hamesha confusion two options always confusion they just put uh, and, and jaan bujh ke deliberately they put two options two <laughs> options so sir <laughs> yeah true to agree agree to that that paper the stem of the paper was the question was like okay but the choices were very close uh, over there yes, and sir. in fact i was also surprised when i saw the causative mm-hmm. algorithm of croup they asked this apparent influence of virus or you know car arts notch and one more time again they went into that so i was like this is inct or neat pg you know like that even that i i was like so uh, uh, but overall i think uh, they they are probably merging the both paper now one because i that's what uh, but we don't predict that and you rightly pointed the beginning only we should not be selective in our you know approach because they can ask anything from any subject exactly, so we sir. cannot really you know like sir, even, yes. even they don't we don't know ki which uh, subjects they are going to target which subjects they are going to ask more questions like yeah. in may it is going it was optha and ortho which came more it can be ent it can be any subject it can be any yeah. short subject you don't pay attention to and even 10 12 15 questions come and this is going to be like if you if you haven't mm. haven't prepared that that's going to be tough then that time yeah. so all But, the 90 yeah. subjects knowledge is important but take home message from arjit uh, uh, wonderful interaction is that you know don't you know be the master of only few you have to make the concepts clear of all 19 subjects and as you move forward in your journey uh, please you know like uh, define your preparation such a way that you're focusing more on the areas which examiner is very fond of and that idea will come from solving the multiple choice question don't ignore the grand test as uh, arjit very point rightly said use grand test as an evaluating tool yes agree but as an assistive tool also to focus on the weaker subjects you may be having and thirdly solving mcq is an art actually is told very clearly that 45 seconds and solve the question is different thing rather than know the topic the different thing actually so solving mcq is definitely and every person who has scored the wonderful rank is is again and again saying q bank and archit i am very very happy to share with you that uh, in doctorals we have got the first q bank in the country which is uh, actually curated created by the faculty themselves so all 19 faculties have taken the you know pain and uh, time to uh, to redefine the whole q bank and that's how the grand test are getting getting more and more close to the real exam also and that that's what achit where do you see yourself 5 years from now what is your because i think you are a determined person and you will make it happen where you see yourself sir i just want to become best sir that's that's my just that's inside me like i don't know what i'm going to do in 5 years but i want to do something great that is the wonderful answer. which field you would like to which field uh, sir, which field of medicine i i i love cardiology sir i love cardiology mm-hmm. i think i'm going to do that only if i get the chance whether it's pediatric through pediatric cardiology or medicine in adult cardiology i'll do that so this kind of clarity at this uh, stage and age uh is not common i must tell you because i am into medical education for last 20 years and the kind of clarity i can see in your words and your thoughts uh it's one of the you know rare things nowadays and uh, stick stick to that my advice will be stick to that and uh, because you are a fighter you are a sport, sports person and i'm sure with the blessing of your parents and uh, with god blessing you will make it happen and one fine day we'll meet you know somewhere and you are doing wonderful work in cardiology be it pediatric or adult cardiology from each one of our site once again archit uh, we want to wish you good luck and i must inform you we have the country's best neat ss program also and uh, <clears throat> dr rahul rajiv is there and lot of uh, phenomenal yes. people are the part of the uh, neat ss uh, group over there so yes, uh, whenever you decide to take your journey further uh, we would love to align uh, in your further journey with us also yes sir thank you very much archit and uh, please pass my uh, best wishes and uh, congratulations to your parents and archit come from uh, amirpur uh, in himachal pradesh and uh, when we learn this science this kind of science like from cardiology or pediatric cardiology and from tier one cities like chandigarh and then we settle in a premium medical college or aims maybe in himachal pradesh we take the services over there and there start 
you know the big thing happening over there. as you said you want to do the best actually and this kind of whole picture which i can see now you know in the future you know like it can really translate into a very big uh, thing for you and for the people of your region also over there. thank you sir. so thank you very much achit once again and uh, we are very proud of you and do really great wonderful yes sure thank you sure